Today we're opening a bunch of different eras of tournament pack. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I have over 30 packs to be open. A bunch of them are tournament packs and then I have a bunch of random other packs. Just a ton of variety here today. I think it'll be a lot of fun and I also have a giveaway, of course. I'll be giving away this number 39 Ultimate Rare Utopia. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite tournament pack that we open today or just random pack because there's some other pretty cool ones in here as well. So here are the tournament packs we have today. We have Turbo Pack 8, we have Astral Pack 1, 1, 2, we've got some OTS 11, some OTS 11 we've got 16 18 and 19 for the tournament packs those are all pretty cool then we have a bunch of random packs we're not going to go through these individually but we will open them individually so you will see so this is going to be a pretty fun opening I'm excited because doing just a bunch of random packs is always really fun and speaking of this we're opening every pack ever made in one video coming up at 150,000 subscribers so make sure to subscribe for that because it's going to be an insane video we did it in 2020 but there's been a lot of new sets since then and we're hoping to uh, record the whole thing this time all right let's get into but let's start with our favorite set ghost from the past two i had two extra packs laying around so if they have a ghost rare then that is going to be pretty nuts let's just see what we can do math mech edition we got the tinyi spirit shithana very nice the dd vice king war requiem we've got the zombie world and the yangzing prana very nice okay cool let's go to a ots 18 see if we can pull an ultimate rare today bought one every 16 for ots packs to get an ultimate rare so uh yeah not super likely but there's only three cards per pack let's see what we can do diverge of the nordic alpha very cool we get the phantom knights of silent boots and the kagamusha knight all right so slow start there nothing too crazy we have a dawn of majesty back i've had this for a while just like one random pack sitting around so imagine if this had the stardust like we opened 12 cases for the stardust and then this one just has it in there that'd be hilarious magic unlocking with the chronomaly akambaro figures all right the arrow picks three very nice Kono has shash and the B trooper scale bomber man okay that's a super rare you can barely even see that look there you go there you can see it all right, Brandon Bond and oh, there's branded cards in here. Kind of for, well, a Lubris from the set, so of course. Next up, OTS 11. We have a lot of these for some reason. I don't remember what the ultis are in this set. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Maybe the editor can pop them up on the screen, or at least the three that are on here. I think it's, yeah, three per OTS pack. We have the Eshban, very nice. The True Draker Heritage, and okay, Dual Dragon Token. We pulled this multiple times in the other ones. Very interesting. Hopefully, we can pull an Ultimate Rare today, but they are pretty tough. Let's go with a Duelist Pack Crow. What is the Ultra in here again? We've opened a few of these on the channel, but I can never remember. What is the uh, Ultra Rare in this set? Because I think in the Duelist Packs, they just have like one Ultra, and that's it. It's the highest rarity card. Uh, the Blackwing Mistral, the Silver Shield, pretty cool. Blackwing Armor Master, that's a super rare. I think that's actually worth a little bit. Against the Wind, very cool. The second card was the foil. That's kind of weird. All right, so uh, we've already hit a super rare. This is a good card. Like, okay, that might be worth a little bit. I don't know if it is out of that, but I think it is. Like, this is one of those cards where I'm not sure if it's worth $8 or $0.08, cents, but like, I, I feel like it's one of the two. All right, let's try an OTS 19 pack. So this one's a little messed up. This is the most recent OTS set. So hopefully we can pull something cool out of here. We have the Heroic Champion Excalibur. Cool. Swan Battle Guard, the classic. It, you can really tell on the new like way they print. It's the quality of the cards. I just don't like the new quality very much. And then Akaius, the Shadow Monarch. Very cool. You can barely tell these are supers, which is kind of cool because it's subtle, but I just don't like the way these feel. I don't know. It's like the new, the new, I guess maybe it's a new factory. I don't know. I don't really like how they feel compared to like even the other new stuff like if people didn't like the other new stuff before but i don't like this even less i think uh duelist pack uh you say wait two or three i think there's three you say pack what does that say that's a two it's really hard to see i get i was looking through the camera and i'm like i really can't tell what that says apparently this is you say two what will it be we have a majestic dragon i've what this is a common in here this was like a ten dollar super rare for a long time out of the original set in 5ds i don't know if it still is prevention star it might have gotten a reprint max warrior that's just a regular old rare reinforced truth and level warrior okay nothing too crazy there majestic dragon i'm interested to see if that's worth anything in common it's probably not but wait 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. All right, back to OTS. We have a lot of 11s, so we're going to start off with a bunch of those just so we can, uh, you know, even it out, not open all the good ones too early. Three cards. What will it be? True Draker Heritage. Very nice. we got the Cyber Dragon, and we've got another Dual Dragon token. Like, what's the deal? I pulled like four or five of these out of these. This is really weird. I don't know why we keep pulling this. All right, let's go to a Grand Creators pack. This set didn't start off so high, but it's actually aged super well because of brave and then like uh punk i guess yeah so it's done pretty well wow check that out beautiful cool oh, come on can we focus here hello can we focus focus on the card 
This is weird. Okay, uh, just check that corner out. I don't know what's happening with the camera right now. Ties of the Brethren. Oh, dude, look at the top of these. Oh my goodness. XC's universe. So it's just a super. Wow, these are absolutely destroyed, which is not that unusual these days. So I'm strike. Very nice card. All right, pretty weird. Let's go to our second Ghost from the Past. We only have two of these. So this will be our last one of Ghost from the Past today. But you guys have seen many of these, so no big deal. We we'll get the Domain of the True Monarchs. Pretty cool. The Box of Friends. And the Dark Alligator, just a regular old, old ultra rare, because they're all ultra rares besides the ghost rares. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see what we can do now. Let's go to an Astral Pack one. Let's try our first Astral Pack of the day. Can we pull something cool? I wonder what Astral Pack one has in it. Oh, there's a super. <laughs> they're right at the front. You got to be careful with these Astral Packs. Flamvel Fire Dog, got a Furikazan and a Ice Edge. I, Ice Edge might have been actually worth a dollar or something. And then a Flamevel Fire Dog, pretty cool. Back to these Rising Rampage First Edition. Technically, there could be an Apollos in here. If that happens, I will die. That would be insane. It's like a $1,500 card. So if that happens, everybody, we are going crazy. Let's go. Marinces Current. Smorg Onslaught. Yo Senju Wind Worship. One day we're actually going to pull that up, Losa. I even opened like a case one time of blisters. Didn't happen. Smorg, uh, Bird of Perfection. Protection, I should say. And then a Vita Rebuild Our Worlds. I really want to pull that at some point, but those packs have gotten pretty expensive. So we'll see. Maybe we'll pull in the every pack opening. That would be pretty amazing. That would almost make the video. Oh, wait, we got to do tournament pack next. Let's do tournament pack 18 or OTS, I should say. Official tournament store. All right, let's go. We have the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Let's get that nice uh, Forbidden Droplet. I'd take that Dark Magical Circle. Is that in this set? Yeah, it is Droplet, right? Uh, Kagabusha Knight. Okay, so not this time, but maybe next time. Let's do a, a Synchro Storm. Yeah, this one belongs at the beginning, but we could still pull a $100 Baron card, which would be insane. So there's a lot of good chances, even in these really bad sets like this one. Speed Left Necro Floor, Synchro Explorer, Rush Warrior, and the Totem Bird. The Bird of Totem. Okay, nothing great there. All right, let's crack into, I think, you know, let's do one more OTS 11 before we get too crazy. Because we have like six of those. Please don't be the Dual Link Token or whatever it's called. Please, Synchro Material. We'll get the True Drago Heritage. We keep getting that every time too. And... All right, aloof lupine. We can play our thunder dragons on dual links. I'm happy with that. We will take that. That is much better than the token, which we keep getting over and over. All right, on this next one, let's do a secret forces pack. This is unlimited, but there's a few cool cards in secret forces. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we have, oh no, I ruined it. The ritual beast ulti petal fin. Okay, he's a dolphin. Okay, why? Man, it really won't focus when I zoom up, unfortunately. Let's see if there's any cool super rares. Gishki Shadow. Okay, nothing too crazy there, but Secret Rare, we'll take it. Time for Turbo Pack. Our first Turbo Pack Booster 8. I'm excited about this because Turbo Pack is pretty old at this point. It's the third iteration. Oh, I just... I gotta pay attention, man. It's gonna be at the front. Goes and Match is actually worth a few bucks, I think. Elephant Statue and the Emperor's Holiday. I keep forgetting that that's gonna be at the front, but uh, yeah, oh, Tur Turbo Pack came after Champion Pack and the regular uh, like Turbo Pack, and it's before Astral and before OTS. So it's getting old at this point. It's like, you know... 5D's era and stuff like that. Okay, Brothers of Legend first edition. Somebody wrote on these, whoever I got these from. I don't know who it was though, so. All right, I can't remember where these came from. I just found them in a stack and I was like, where did these packs come from? I don't know, so whoever it was, Hopefully it has a uh, Dragoon in here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Resurgent. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's at the end, of course. Speedroid Scratch. I got it confused. Let's go into the last OTS 19 pack. So far, we haven't hit anything big. So we just want to hit one big card. That would be really nice. Lone Fire Blossom. Pretty cool. We get the Hercules Beetle. Okay, what's it going to be? The Pain Painter. His first reprint ever, I think, since Generation 4 Secret Rare. So I guess that's a good one. Uh, let's go. I also have a Rush Duel pack here, which is pretty cool. Let's do the uh, Duelist Pack Crow, though. Let's go to that. All right. Last time we got the Blackwing Armor Master, which is actually pretty sick. So we will take that. It might be the next card. Let's see. Blackwing Strafe. Nope. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that means it's no foil, I guess. Bombardment, Blizzard of the Far North, and then our strategy card, Para Normal Summons. You can learn how to normal summon. If you guys like Flounderese, then you might need to read that. Okay. We have one more OTS 11, and then everything else is a singular pack. So let's do this one one more time. Let's see what we can get. Can we get something good? Come on. Give us an ulti. True Draco Heritage. Boot up Soldier Dread Dynamo and Aloof Lupine again. So we're really playing that Thunder Dragon deck, it seems. Uh, let's go back and try Code of the duelist yeah one of the best sets ever and by best i mean really really bad but i think one of the cards in here is actually getting used recently uh one of the secrets so maybe we could pull it every time i trash this though we pull the uh the firewall which is pretty cool zombina ddd vice typhon we've got the brainwashing jane twilight sworn general 
motivating captain and the lead the world chalice fairy that's an ultra not guaranteed we will take it we find oh ultimate pound is in here i didn't really realize that got some ancient gear golem support okay not bad let's just go in order now ots 18 from newest to oldest let's see what we can pull out of ots 18 we got the gold vague the nordic ascendant this is in that deck the nordic deck which is really annoying if you ever play like with just decks this deck's like really op compared to a lot of other decks because you can just make the giant odin he's pretty good uh, Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief, and we've got a Contact C. All right, man, where are the big pulls? Come on. What do we want to do? Maybe uh, the Duelist Pack, get that one out of the way. Duelist Pack, you say, I'd say Duelist Packs are usually not as exciting as regular old main sets and stuff like that. So maybe we'll pull like the Ultra Rare out of here. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Release Restraint Wave. That was a Duel uh, Duel Links card for a while. I was about to say Duelist card. Quick Draw Syngron, actually a pretty good card. And then a Turret Warrior, okay. So uh, Quick Draw is a pretty nice card for like Edison, but it just got like a foil reprint, I think. So probably not that great. Uh, let's go into the OT. Oh, this is the one with Droplet. 16, not 18. What did 18 have? I think Cyber Dragon Droplet were in 16, right? And then Imperm 17, what was in 18? I feel like there was something good in 18, but I can't remember what it was. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Power Filter, very nice. Miracle Dish this is a very old card. It's got a reprint, but... Uh... Oh, a Droplet! No way, dude! Oh, this card is like $300! Oh my god! Look at that back... Oh, that back imprint. Holy crap! This is one of the best cards we could have pulled. Even if we pull like the best card out of Turbo Pack, I'm pretty sure it's not as expensive as this card. Whoa! Okay, I saw ulti. I was like, oh! I forgot what pack we were opening. Oh my goodness! Whoa, what a pull, man! Like one pack of OTS 16? That is insane, dude. That is a pull right there. That is an expensive card. Woo, that is big. Okay, oh, I said I just wanted one pull. So from now on, we're just basically plussing on just having fun. That is insane. What a freaking pull. A Forbidden Droplet Ultimate Rare. That is hype. I think that actually completes my playset. I think I only had two of those. So now we got three apparently. So wow, that is insane. Okay, you know what? I'm really feeling the Rush Duel pack now. Are we gonna, is, is this the one where you can pull the Blue Eyes? I don't really know. The Blue Eyes is beautiful too. I used to have one. I, I got one from a collection and sold it, but I was like, man, I really like this card. I was tempted to keep it but sometimes you just got to sell stuff, you know? If you're going to open packs, you got you definitely got to sell stuff. So we had to sell that one. I don't know if it's even in this set, though. I just know it's a Rush Tool card, you know? That's all I know. I don't know a lot of, a lot about Rush Tool. Okay, we've got three. Is that cats? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Um, I, but what is this? These don't look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, we got that. Oh, Silver Fang! I recognize that guy. All right, classic artwork. We've got the... Oh, is this the Lizard Soldier? So these are classic LOB cards. Oh, okay. And that guy, the guy from uh, the Chain Chomp from Mario. Okay, I don't, I don't know that one. So no foil there, but it's an OCG pack. They kind of do that with a lot of their stuff. It's not a guaranteed foil, which is pretty cool. That one didn't pay off, but uh, I, I'm not mad. OTS three. Okay, I didn't even realize we had this. OT. Oh, I gotta stop doing this. Okay. All right, from now on, the tournament packs, we are flipping the front one to the back. Uni Zombie School. We got a Magic Reflector. Very cool. All right. Okay, I ruined that one again. Let's do Chaos Impact. We technically could pull a $1,500 Mask Arena. That card went up to 15. When we searched for it, it was only 1,000. We pulled two of them. Uh, insane, by the way. That <laughs> double Mask Arena Starlight. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Because there could be a Starlight in here. We have... Oh, wait, no. It, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll still be in the back. All right. Escape of the Unchained. We've got the World Reassembly. Uh, Bayonetta with the Bane, Baneful Barrel. We got the Tachyon Spiral Galaxy, the Protocol Gardener, Maritza Sea Angel, Evil Eye, Evil Tile, Mega Chirel, and will it be a Starlight? No, it's just a super rare. Okay, if we had pulled Mascarena, I would literally would have passed out. That would have been insane. Uh, let's just do two of these in a row, I think. Let's do Dark Neo Storm so we can end with like a, a tournament pack, I think is the better way to do it because this is a tournament pack video. All right, let's do, let's just do three on this one. I think it's four, but we're going to do three. Uh, the Yuki Musumi, the Ice Makish Mayakashi, Lord Cloud of the Storm Serpent. We got the Dino Wrestler Terra Pacario, the Alter Guys Fafinalag, Fafinalag. We got the Packet Swap. All right, it's like a uh, creature swap, but it's a, a witch. Why? What? Okay. Neo Flame Vel Lady, weird. Uh, Loge's Flame. Okay, just a super. We've pulled many of these when opening for uh, Fusion Destiny. We opened a bunch of packs for that. All right, let's go back to Astral. Astral Pack Two. It's gonna be at the front. We're not gonna. We're not gonna mess it up this time. Let's. let's do it like this a little bit of that a little bit of finesse you see that guys pretty insane okay we're gonna flip it around we have the machina armored unit 
We have the Photon Veil. I think in Astro Pack, there was only one ulti. Or maybe that was Turbo. I think it was Turbo's one ulti. There's still three in here, maybe. I can't remember. Photon Veil. And a Jir Jirgia Accelerator. Jirgia Accelerator. I don't know how to say that, but that's a super rare. Okay, it's not an ulti. That's all we know. Back to the regular packs. We have Hidden Summoners. I really enjoy this variety opening. Let me know if you guys like this. Uh, it's kind of hard to do sometimes, uh, but if I have stuff laying around, then I can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So these were all laying around. We did recently get those OTS, so those were not just laying around. Let's just put one to the back. It might be on the front. Uh, we have the Prank Kits Weather Washer. Cool. Manju with the 10,000 hands. Oh, we always love this guy. Super rare. Even though he got 50 reprints recently. Last Hope of Nephthys. And it wasn't at the front. It was at the back. Gasha Dokuro. The Skeletal Mayakashi. Very cool. And then the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That was actually a really good pack. Okay, three decent cards in there. We will take that. Okay, Astro Pack 1. Then we've got Stardust Overdrive and Turbo Pack to finish it off. This is going to be pretty good. Okay, let's not ruin it. We got to do a little finesse again. Let's not mess it up. Astro Pack 1. Very nice. Let's do that. Let's. Oh, it's an upside down card. Is that a good sign? Sometimes it can be. I don't know. Furika san. Elementor Ice Edge. Is the upside down card good? Okay, here we go. We're going to do it like this so we can see it the correct way. We have Insector Centipede. Okay, this might, this probably went up a while ago when Insectors first came out. It's probably back down though. Super rare. I, thought, I was hoping upside down meant something good, but not this time. Final two packs. Stardust Overdrive. Could have a Ghost Rare in here. I do need this Ghost Rare for my binder, I believe. So even Unlimited. First set and Unlimited. So that'd be pretty cool. Oh, wait, no. Let's let's do a little pack trick. We have, uh, I think it's four. But we're going to do three. We have Enlightenment. Very cool. Limit Impulse. Relinquish Spider. This does not look like Relinquish at all. Pegasus would be very confused. Ritual of Grace. We've got Molting Escape. Ground Spider. Mother Spider. All right. I think it's the next one. Let's see. Come on, Ghost Rare. Oh, it's a super preparation of rights. So that's actually a pretty good card. Uh, I think it's worth a couple bucks. It is a foil, which is not guaranteed in Stardust Overdrive. We will take that. Not bad. And the final pack. This, I mean, not a super eventful opening besides the one epic pull, which is all we can really ask for. So let's be careful and not spoil this last pack. Let's go. Let's go like that. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Open it like that. Upside down a little bit. You know what I'm talking about. This last card should be it. So let's see if we can pull one more awesome card. I mean, the droplet was insane. So let's see. Magical Magician Circle. That's not magical. I mean, magicians are magical. So kind of the same thing. Elephant Statue of Disaster. Come on. Give us an ultimate rare. An ultra rare even because those are pretty rare in these sets. Let's go. Alligator Sword Dragon. That's probably actually worth a couple bucks because this has not been printed too much. So that's actually a pretty sick pull to end it on. Overall, it went pretty, pretty well with that Forbidden Droplet out of one singular OTS 16 pack. I'm pretty happy with it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. And don't forget to subscribe because the 150k special of opening every single pack is coming up. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tome Fo Show, and then as High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.